What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're gonna look at "Adore You" by Harry Styles. We got the cable on the third fret for the song. Uh, by the way, if you just wanna play like the live version where Harry actually sings, we're gonna put the cable on the second fret because he sings everything a half step down. Because this song is actually having a couple of high notes, so that's the reason he just goes half step down while singing in the live version. But the one I'm showing you is actually the studio version, and that's the reason I'm using the cable on third fret, live version, cable second fret, studio cable third fret. All right, now let's quickly have a look at the chord shape. This song is super easy. We're gonna use a couple of string patterns uh, just to spice up the song. So let's have a look at the chord shape. So first chord is A minor seven, which is mute open, second open, first open. Then we have a C, which is mute three to open, first open. Then we have a G, which is three to open, open, open three. And now we have an F major chord. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to play the bar chord. Typical bar chord style. We got one, three, three, two, one, one, index finger bar, then E major chord shape over here. Otherwise, you can use your thumb and then index finger over here and play it like this. Just to hammer on from open to second on the G string, we're gonna use this shape. Another easy version is basically just playing the D string till the high E string. Muting the top two strings and you bring it two step, whole step down, it's a G, and that's all we have. All right, down with the chord shapes, we're gonna look at the verse. Chord progression will be an A minor 7, then a C, and then we have an F. And the next bar which we have, we're gonna have F G, which means one, two, three, four. So we'll walk in your rainbow. You see that F G? Or you can even play it over here. It's up to you. So that was the basic rhythm. That's how the full song goes on. So I like to use this strength band. Up, up, down, A minor seven, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And one thing you'll notice on the F major chord, I actually go down, up, up, down, like it's on the F major chord especially, and on the F and the G, I like to go. I kind of mute that, so it's a close position. The strings are not open, so you can easily mute that with the help of your left hand. So, so down, down, up, up, down. See that down, down, up, mute, up, mute, down, down, down. Then we have G major, up, up. You can even play it over here, but obviously this is gonna be better. So we got. Or would you believe it? Play the G. So, would you believe it, right? So, that's the verse. Then we have, you're not So that's a pre chorus. Uh, the string pattern will be kind of same, but we're gonna go, like it's a pre chorus. We're moving to the chorus, we're gonna just uh, go a little bit different. We're gonna go. I'm going down, up, 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 down, up. It's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. A minor seven, one and two and three. And four and C major. Now this completely depends upon your speed. Uh, so if you're going fast, you can go for 16 down ups. If you're going slow, you can go for four down ups. It's completely up to you. Like I like to go for eight down ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. 
So you want to say. Make sure you go that go for some mutes on the F major chord, and then now we have the uh, what do you call that chorus? Honey. So here the string pan will be uh, the same down down up up down, but I like to do a slap on the F major chord. Well, I'm slapping. I'm actually using my uh, thumb, this part, not thumb, uh, this part of my palm. I just rest it on the strings and, I, and then I just do a flick with the pick and I get a scratchy, slappy sound. So we have F major down, down, up. See that down, down, up, slap, up, mute. Down, down, up, slap, up, down, down. I like to keep the F and the G very percussive. So we got uh, A minor 7. The only change I like to make is basically add the third fret on the high E string with the pinky. Go same for the C major chord, even for the F if you want, and for the G, just go normal. Next course, and then we have the small solo. It kind of goes something like that. I don't remember it properly, but that's how it sounds. And then we have the last course, which is really soft. falls on the sea and that's the end of the song i don't know whether it's a sea or river um must be a river uh, guys that's the whole song i hope this video helps you let me know what other song you just want to learn by highest styles i'm covering another song i think it will be sunflower uh, i don't remember properly but i'm gonna cover another song by highest styles and i'm uh, just thinking of covering a couple of songs by one direction in a single video so if you want make sure to drop a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed you should do so gonna have my channel drastically bye